Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies portal for MCQs of SCPM. We have already covered every possible question from the module. Now time for us to be doing every possible question from Board of Studies. I am just trying to gather the questions from everywhere, wherever I can be getting, but relevant for your examinations. Two things, you want to be enrolling for a complete course, look at the description below. You can enroll through our website, directly the lectures start, no need for you all to be calling us. Second, in case you have some doubts regarding this subject, you can always call us on 8080324444 or you all can write to us on our telegram ID at the rate AJ Next. Just one bold announcement, all our lectures for CA Intercosting will be coming on our YouTube channel every Saturday, Sunday. Uh, these will be accompanied by all the tests that I take at the end of each and every chapter. Plus, they will also be accompanied by the summaries of every question, rating of every question, plus our homework section. That course is enough for you all to be getting 90 plus in CA inter-costing. So, if you have any friends or relatives who have to be still appearing for CA inter, it will be a sure shot uh, course and uh, there is no money to be paid for it. And these will be first of all coming in English-Hindi mix. Once that course is over, then everything will be coming in full English also. Let's start it off the question for today. So it's chapter number four and one of the small things in chapter number four is life cycle costing. In life cycle costing, we try to be saying that every product passes through various stages. Once a product is developed, it goes through an introduction stage, growth stage, maturity stage and a declining stage. This question is all about that. Let's see this question. SW is selling an electronic product that is aiming at a customer base who are early adopters. Early adopters means, I'll give you a small example. Whenever any new thing comes, no, there are some people who try that, okay, whether it is successful or not in future that product, but then people want to be trying that particular thing. Example, I will tell you, Samsung, lot amount of time ago, I exactly don't remember the year, they had launched a smart camera, okay, they had launched a galaxy camera, not a phone, galaxy camera. Now, you will not be hearing about that camera today, but at that time when it had come, no, I took that camera. So, I'm an early adopter. To give you one other example, there was a company that had launched projector phones. I loved that concept. Then Samsung also launched. When Samsung launched, okay, not many people purchased it. I purchased it. I'm an early adopter, okay. Their market share in the current year has been growing rapidly and consequently, the profits are also increasing rapidly, okay. Market competition is increasing with a growing number of competitors for SW. So market competition is also increasing. That means we are being successful. That is why other people are joining. And the competition is also increasing. Okay. Further, for this electronic product, which stage of life cycle is SW experiencing? There are four stages. So in, it is introduction, growth, maturity, and it should be declined, I guess. Okay. Now see. About these four stages, product life cycle, you all should be knowing like, you know, product life cycle is all about what ICAI says there are four stages, but in reality, there are five stages. This is a first stage whereby the product is getting developed. It is not launched the market. Okay. It is just getting developed. This is research and development phase whereby company incurs lot amount of capital expenditure in trying to develop the product. Once a product is developed, they try to purchase the machineries and now we are ready to be launching the product in the market. That is called as introduction stage. In introduction stage, there are early adopters, okay, means those people who wish to try a new product, those people buy the product. But at this time, competition is very less, okay, competition is not very high, it is quite less. Not many people know about a product. There must be some established players, okay, who like, you know, are selling the product a lot and people are buying their product, not my product. This is an introduction stage, usually marked by losses or very small profits. But then things start to pick up. We say this is always called as a growth stage. Growth stage consists of early adopters also, plus early adopters try to spread this knowledge or spread about our product to other people also. And then begins our growth story, whereby sales are increasing at a very high rate, profits are increasing at a very high rate. And at this stage, competition has also started to increase. Why? Because we launched a product that was successful. So more amount of competition will automatically start to be uh, coming. Many other people will start to manufacture the same product and competition starts to become. 
The next stage that we all have is a maturity stage. In the maturity stage, one thing that happens are things are starting to become flat now. Okay, markets have almost matured. There is no room for more competition. Everybody is struggling for market share. People try to be launching lot amount of offers and all these things in order to be selling their product. Now, one thing you all should always remember that nothing lasts forever in this world. Towards the end of the maturity stage, a decline starts to be coming. We say that is the last stage of any product, declining stage. Customers no longer like your product because better products have come out in the market. They start to buy the other products. Sales of our products starts to be going down. <clears throat> Most of the companies stop their production whenever they see that there is no future in this product. Think of a, a product which say Apple launched around in 2001, iPod. Now, iPod, not many people will be knowing, it was an MP3 player. Uh, before that, there was there were uh, Walkmans and there was uh, CD players, okay, the portable uh, CD players. And those were hugely successful. When Apple came out with iPod, although that was not the first MP3 player that had come out, first MP3 player was by a company called as uh, SanDisk, whom you all know for like, you know, the memory cards and all. But at that time, when MP3 players by Apple had come out, okay, in beginning, they were very expensive. Not many people wanted to try that. But there were huge advantages of buying something like iPod. It was very small. The music was awesome. There was a jog dial, which you can rotate your finger on and the next uh, song will be coming. And you could store huge amount of songs in that. So that was the introduction stage. Apple was new. They tried to be launching the products at a very high price because competition was very less as such. But then after some time, this craze started to go on. It went on, it went on. They entered their growth stages. They did not lower the price, but then they started to produce the products on mass scale. And many people had started to be buying this particular product. It was the highest selling gadget for seven years in a row that marks the world record for any gadget. Now, once that thing had happened, then it entered the maturity stages, whereby like, you know, everybody wanted it, but then many other companies had come out with their MP3 players, although they were not successful, to be very honest, like Philips had launched, then uh, Microsoft had also launched their product called as Zooms. They also launched it, but then it was not much successful. But then biggest competition came from Apple itself. They launched iPhone iPhone automatically had iPod built into that. So therefore sales of iPod had started to decline. And around in 2019, they made their last versions of iPod and discontinued that thing forever. So therefore it went through all these stages. If I come back to the question, question says these particular things, what? Question says that profits are increasing rapidly. Market competition is increasing with a growing number of competitors. Now, this thing always happens in the growth stage itself. Okay. So, therefore, out of the four, because this product is growing at an alarming rate. So, therefore, it has to be the growth stage here. Yeah. Uh, this is whatever ICA says. I'll read it once for you. SW has a customer base for the product who are early adopters. Early adopters are those who embrace the new technology, although their risk-taking appetite is lower than that of the innovators, usually customers of the introduction stage of product life cycle. Increased competition, growing market share and growth in profits are characteristics of the growth stage of the product life cycle. So therefore, like this is uh, the feature of the growth stage that the competition increases our market share increases the competition starts to be coming and our profits start to be increasing okay so therefore out of the four options answer should be growth stage over here okay that should be the correct one yeah that is the correct answer that's it for today this is the QR code of the playlist of the MCQs, which are from the module of SCPM. Ensure to check them out before you watch these board of studies questions. Okay, they contain the summary concepts, everything. I'll see you all next time in another lecture. Bye. Take care.